Welcome to Aditya W and Triple T YouTube channel. We have started with the offline laptop repair training batches. If you want to apply, you can just contact us on the given number in the description below. Thank you. Today we have a case of Lenovo T14S G3 model where there is an issue of no display. So we are going to make a brand new BIOS from with the help of old BIOS and we are going to clean it. So first thing first we need all the details like CPU detail serial number part number so first we need a serial number and I'm going to copy the serial number from here and go to the Lenovo website and I'm going to search the serial number over here and then go to the support page select the drivers and then go to the bias over here and I'm going to download the BIOS update utility from here, the exe file. As soon as the exe file download is completed, I have to go and extract this file. So I'm going to drag and drop it over here. So you can see the file gets extracted over here. And from here, I have to find the file. that is bias file I need to find out so here we have two files over here so I'm going to drag and drop it over here so the role of this is over now we have the files over here <coughs> you can see we got that extracted over here now we need to open it the backup file you can see so these are two files which we have got now I'm going to open this file that is 21 MB on the hex okay now this is our exe which we have extracted now I'm going to open the old file as well this is our backup file okay both are open now I am going to open the backup file on the UEFI tool as well that's it so it is also open now now what we have to do is we have to first find the bottom bottom part that is you can just copy f from the hex and just to control F and control V select hex over here and search so below this is all garbage we are going to delete everything over here we don't require this now we have to set the file to get the exact bias region over here so for that we will take the help of UEFI tool we go to bias region now here you can see the bias region when you see it is one nine nine double two nine double four okay this is the size so what we are going to do is we are going to open the calculator first and we are going to type over here one double nine double two nine double four now we have to subtract from here the padding region that is 3 1 4 5 7 2 8 so let's subtract over here and that is equal to 16 MB 
वन सिक्स ट्रिपल सेवन टू वन सिक्स नाउ वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज वी हैव टू डू कंट्रोल जी ओवर ईयर गो टू डेसिमल यू कैन सी वन सिक्स ट्रिपल सेवन वन सिक्स वन सिक्स ट्रिपल सेवन टू वन सिक्स that is equal to 16 mb so we will remove everything from here to upside this we are doing on the exe file which we have extracted the new bias now we have a 16 mb file over here exec 16 mb so what we are going to do is we are going to press control g and do the same thing over here and now from here that is from 16 and above we are going to copy everything and we are going to paste it over here now this is a 64 mb bias okay not a 16 mb or 32 mb this is a 64 mb bias now we are going to save it let's save it here and new Now we have saved it over here into the folder. This is our new bias, and you can see this is a 64 MB bias. If you calculate it over here, you can see the properties as well. It is 64 MB, like you can see here. One zero two four into one zero two four. Two sixty four six seven one zero eight eight six four. Okay, this is a sixty four MB bias. <coughs> so that's the sixty four MB bias over there. Okay. Now what we have to do is we have to do the clean ME process to make it in a working condition. So we are going to open this in ME analyzer and check the. ME version. So you can see over here. This is in initialized format. Here you can see initialized format, and this is a consumer LP sixteen zero fifteen one eight one zero. So what we are going to do is we are going to drag and drop to the ME tool. so we will open the fitc tool first and wait for it to open so it is open now i am going to drag and drop the file to this fitc tool and wait it to decompose as soon as you see it it start decomposing the new file is being generated over here you can see the file is being generated and decompose is successful so what i'm going to do is to do clean ame very simple process we need to just get the repository file that is 16051810 that is consumer lp you can see we have the file over here this is a repository file i am going to copy it over here from here and i am going to go to the decompose section and i am going to paste it over here after doing this what i'm going to do is i am to going to press f2 over here control c and i'm going to delete this and me sub partition and change the file name over here done now 
I'm going to the tool back and press on the save config over here that is also done save config is done now I'll come back to the main page back and this is my save config now what I'm going to do is I am going to drag and drop this file over here as soon as I do that a new ME sub partition file is being created you don't have to pay attention to that now here what you have to do is you have to just press on the build over here and wait for the process to happen you can see a new file has been built over here that is 64 MB file which is out now I am going to open the ME analyzer again you, if you want you can change the name of it and you can name it as Lenovo T14S clean ME when this is done and drag and drop you can see the file is been configured and the clean ME process is done you can compare over here you can see configured clean ME is done now this file is ready to be Flashed. so I am going to send this file to the concerned person who has asked me about the file and let's see the results what will going to, what is going to happen so this is a latest generation i5 12th generation clean ME process and as well as building a new bias and that to 64 MB bias the process is very simple the process is old method only there is nothing new in it so thanks for watching our channel aditya 11 triple t do hit the subscribe button like share and comment hopefully you like this video thanks a lot again our batch is being getting started if you want to enroll for offline advanced chip level laptop repair training you can just contact us on the given number in the description below thanks a lot So if you want to get the knowledge on bias modding you can just purchase our Hindi edition all the videos are available already and uh, along with that there are many case studies as well as some videos theoretically on impedance and voltages are also there with the help of DSO how you can check the motherboard are also included on this videos so complete packages of around uh, 40 plus videos you can if you like you can just purchase them it is a full of knowledge you can enjoy the videos and it is a hundred percent money back videos your money will not be wasted for that so if you like to join our bias and schematics group you can also contact us for joining that as well as we also have a training program of laptop chip level advanced level if you like to join that you can also come and join that so thanks for watching aditya double one triple t youtube channel if you like our channel do hit the subscribe button like share and comment thanks a lot